Hey, Terry. Okay, so we're showing you the road right now in Pecoway County. We are on State Route 762. We are catching up right now with that caravan that is following behind this first super load to make its way through the Central Ohio or to the Central Ohio area, I should say. Just a couple hours ago, we were kind of parked waiting uh, for that truck to come through Pickaway County on State Route 104. And then finally it did. I want to show you some video. So let's get you to that moment from when that massive truck made its way through the area. So here it is. This truck is over 18 feet tall and 18 feet wide. It weighs 390,000 pounds. As you can imagine, moving this mammoth is a big undertaking, and it does take a lot of manpower, including teams from ODOT, the Highway Patrol, utility companies, local police departments as well. So far, the team from ODOT says it's had a pretty smooth journey, but now that it's made its way to our area, there are going to be a few more obstacles, including stoplights. There's several along the route in Groveport that don't necessarily hang on wires, uh, but they hang and set on steel beams. So those are going to have to be turned to the side or even taken out if that load um, can't get around them. Um, once again, we are, are, are on Route 762. So before arriving, uh, it's going to arrive in the Groveport area eventually. ODOT's team says if you choose to watch that super load go by, keep your distance. Even though this is slow moving, there's a lot of activity around it. So we just don't want people to be in the way. We don't want people to put themselves in danger. We don't want people to put our folks in danger either. So if you want to watch, that's great. Just try to keep your distance. I just hope that people are as excited and um, forgiving, I guess, if you will, and patient with the 23rd load as they are the first one. Now, this trip is not a one-time occurrence like you heard right there. There are over 20 super loads that are expected to take the trip from Adams County up to Licking County over the next several months. Many of them are going to Intel in New Albany, but this first one and some others are heading to a recycling facility in Hebron. Now, once again, this first truck is supposed to stop at the in the Rickenbacker area later this evening before hitting the road early tomorrow morning and it's not going super far tomorrow on Saturday just over to Old Bixby Road but there are some closures you're going to want to know about. We have all of that information for you on our ABC6 app. We'll have an update for you of course later tonight as well. For now live on your side in Mobile Track, I'm Kate Seifert, ABC6 News. Thanks Kate.